Hey YouTube, so this is my top back to school tech that I think you guys will need. So let's begin. So my list includes a, the Bluetooth speaker, a laptop, a cell phone, portable charger, portable hard drive, a Roku, and a Fitbit, or any fitness tracker for that. A laptop. So, you all know what a laptop can do, but it's good for writing up essays, maybe you need it for video editing, Photoshop class, you need to do research paper, you need to research stuff, a laptop's good for that because you don't have to like pull out your cell phone and you don't have to try to get everything on your cell phone. You have a much bigger screen. It'll load a lot more websites. It'll just work a lot better. A Bluetooth speaker. So um, I don't have any recommendation to what Bluetooth speaker to choose. I have multiple that I would recommend. This one I have is the Altec Lansing. I made a review on it, like an unboxing and review for it. If you guys want to check it out, it's in my channel description, or in my channel itself. And I recommend a Bluetooth speaker so that if you're hanging out with friends in a dorm room, or you're just hanging out with friends in general, you turn it on, you can pump up some tunes. Or if you're watching a movie, like you need to be able to settle down, calm down, relax, but you want some good sound coming out of your laptop that you're not getting from your laptop, then I recommend a Bluetooth speaker. A wireless mouse. So this one I have is, was cheap for me. I don't know how cheap it'll be for you. It comes with a uh, some sort of dong, uh, USB dongle and what this what this is good for is you're sitting at a you're sitting at a table and you need to be able to to do some something heavy that require that when you're fooling around with your laptop's keyboard like if you're typing or editing something and at the same time you can't move the mouse you have an easier option of using a mouse than you would with the laptop mouse because you can move the USB mouse, the external mouse, further along. You can go like this and actually move it further along than going on a tiny like this big of a square. You have a bigger space with a, with a regular mouse, but I recommend wireless. Portable charger. I recommend this because most people's phones die throughout the, the day they die and maybe you forgot to charge the day before and you need to run off to college so you pick up one of these things doesn't, I don't, doesn't really matter how much MAH it is I recommend 10 to 20 thousand but with this it keeps your juice the whole day and you don't have to worry about plugging it into a wall, you just slip it in your pocket and you're good and you can use your you can charge your phone with it so that you have juice throughout the whole day because let's say you go from 8 o'clock in the morning to like 8 o'clock at night and you're not able to go back to your dorm room and you need to sit around so you just plug your phone in through this instead of being having to stay at the wall so that if you want to you can charge your phone sitting in like the cafeteria area in the food food court whatever you want to call it and you're sitting you're sitting there in the middle of the room not near any charges at all you just pull out this bad boy and you charge it also you can buy a portable charger that also charges your laptop so you don't have to be near a wall for your laptop so I recommend 20,000 mAh but if you want to go for less, you can go from for 10,000 mAh to up to 20,000 mAh. Higher than that, it's really not worth it. 
but if you can find a great deal on one higher than that, for sure get it. Portable hard drive. You're going to have to back up your files someplace or another. And why not do it where there's a lot of space, where you can just put, store more than just your backed up files on. So I recommend, it, recommend a portable hard drive so that you don't have to worry about running out of space on the little 32 gigabyte flash drive throughout your year. You'll, you may need files for a year. So instead, so instead of running out of space on a portable hard on a flash drive, 32 gigabytes or whatever, you have this, and it can, and you can get up to three terabyte options. So that allows you to to store over a million songs rated at 3.5 mi uh, minutes. So it allows you to store a lot of stuff and you can store definitely over a million documents and you don't have to worry about ever running out of space and it's a portable hard drive so what better anything is there? Cell phone. I have no recommendation on a cell phone well yes I do ZTE Z Max Pro but if you're looking also for a budget cell phone like something under a hundred bucks Amazon Prime exclusive phones where you have lock screen ads, you can get the Blue R1 HD, the 1 gigabyte of RAM, 8 gigabyte model for 50 bucks, so you can spring $10 more and get 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigs of storage. Or for 100 bucks, you can get the Moto G4 with 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigabyte f uh, storage, and a 5. 0.5 inch screen I believe so but those all have lock screen offers but if you really want a recommendation on a phone a cheap phone I recommend ZTE Z Max Pro otherwise just pick up whatever option because a cell phone is mandatory it's one of those things I think is mandatory Roku so I have a Roku 3 it's been used a lot I've been just using it and I recommend this because you can stream. You can stream most YouTube uh, videos. You can hook up your Netflix to this. You can stream your laptop to. You can do stream a ton of stuff to this. So this is to. This is also you can. I spent eighty bucks on this one, but it like it's a hundred bucks in the stores, and you can basically save a ton of money by one of these pick up a hundred and fifty dollar TV and you saved yourself maybe twenty thirty bucks from buying a smart TV you have this which gives you more options than a smart TV you get a lot more uh, apps on here you get a lot more of everything I made a review on this also it's also under my videos in my channel so if you like to check out the video for this you see why it makes it a great streamer Fitbit or any sort of tracker, health tracker device, whether it be a, I don't even know, Fitbit, a Jawbone, Sync, I don't know what they're called, or you can just get any random fitness tracker like Garmin, Vivo, HR, any random fitness tracker, but I recommend this one you can track what you eat throughout the day, you can track how much water you drink, you can track your steps, you can make sure that you're actually what like you can make sure that you're losing as much calories as you're eating throughout the day. Maybe you're eating a little bit too much. Maybe you're not drinking enough water, you want to make sure you're drinking enough. Maybe you have a couple breaks throughout the day, like maybe 30 minute breaks where you can take walks around. You want to make sure that you're getting off your like 10,000 steps throughout the day so you pick up one of these but it doesn't really matter what you have as long as it's a fitness tracker it also helps when you're working out you can track your workouts make sure that you're getting enough exercise in along with schooling so that really wraps it up so if you like that video, please rate, comment, give it a thumbs up, 
and subscribe.